I think, you know, so I used to look at game design like, uh, and, and talk about that we don't make enough intentional experiences for players. And the example I always used to use was if I were directing a movie, a Western, and it was the saloon shootout, uh, you know, putting aside that the actors might get hurt, I wouldn't just put real guns, your bullets in the gun and let them fire and hope it looked interesting, right? You intentionally create that. But when you're talking about a multiplayer game, it's almost the opposite in that you want to build almost a construction set for players. Because I think even saying it's a, a prop, it's props is kind of assigning meaning to what these objects are and how you would use them. And I think the most joy for players is to define their own meaning in, in the space around them. Uh, that's not to say that story can't have a place in that, but it's one of the, the holy grails of MMOs that honestly hasn't really been conquered yet to let every player genuinely feel like a hero. There's this sense when you play most uh, content-driven MMOs right now that you get done slaying the dragon and you feel like you just walk out of the room and you know number 42 is now going to go in and slay the dragon and you walk by later that day and the dragon's still there, right? So there's this, this lack of feeling truly heroic. Uh, you start to get that in raids, but once again, that's the magic of players creating this interaction, this relationship with each other and the way they together solve the problem that that circumstance is unique. So me defeating the boss by myself, not that unique, probably the same way every paladin defeats the boss. But how my raid just did it and this guy died and we almost lost here and this is how we finally did it, that chemistry is actually unique.